And that's when I was diagnosed with the Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it was a wake up call. I mean, I knew my life wasn't going the right direction in a lot of ways, but I didn't really want to focus on it. And when that happened, it was scary. I went to three doctors and two of them were very hardcore. The cancer hadn't been staged yet. And basically they were like chemo, radiation, you know, we're gonna have to freeze your eggs because I hadn't had kids. We're gonna basically, do you have a donor because we might have to do a transplant? And I was like, whoa, that's yeah. so, you know, we don't even know what stage it is. And the third, it was very scary, that part. And then the third doctor that I went to was a radiologist, oncologist, who kind of fell out of the sky from a friend and I went to see him because, reluctantly, really, because I was like, oh, a third doctor, I'm, this is like tiresome. And when I went to see him, he said to me, you know, it was stage then, it was an early stage. And he said, you know, what's your life like? Are you stressed? Are you happy? You know, are you living your purpose? Are you, you know, just what's going on with you? And I just burst into tears and I was like, I'm so miserable. You know, my whole life has been like playing catch up and not feeling good enough and I'm constantly stressed. I mean, I, I think I live in a fight or flight mode continually um, because of all the things that are in my head and, and also when I am not feeling good all the time. So he said, I think we could take care of this without like, you know, bone marrow transplant and freezing your eggs. And he did say that we probably had to do chemo and radiation, but I decided after I did some research, I was really scared about the chemo because I hadn't had kids and I, and because of my immune system, I knew both of those things might take me down. So I chose to do half the radiation and the doctors were not happy with me because I just took it into my own hands and I was praying that this was going to work. So, and then I started juicing, acupuncture, naturopaths, you know, yoga. So I started diving into all of that and I went into therapy major because I knew my emotional stability needed to be worked on. So, I mean, you know, there, that part of the equation is huge and it's bigger than most people think.